Greetings everyone and welcome back to another Starship Review. Today we're going to take a look at the Terran Cygnus Battlecruiser, aka the Mirror Universe's answer to the Andromeda and Galaxy class. This ship is currently available in the 12th Anniversary Bundle or as an individual purchase in the Sea Store, both of which are still on sale as of the time of this writing. I'll just come right out and say that I don't much care for the Cygnus. It's an aggressively decent ship, despite having a massive 1.525 hull modifier, it feels like it's made out of tissue paper, to the point that I'm not convinced there isn't something wrong with it. Sporting a 5-3 weapon layout, and Commander Temporal seated excels at single target energy weapon builds to take advantage of recursive shearing. It also gets a boost from a couple of great uncon procs if you decide to go that route. However, the Lieutenant Command seat just doesn't feel like it has much to offer. The base turn rate of 6 makes it quite sluggish, and while you can put together something nice, it's just not fun to fly in my opinion. I'd rather have something more nimble for the kinds of builds it does best with, and would take the legendary Ross pretty much any day of the week. You get four different skins unlocked with the purchase, including the Cygnus skin, Andromeda variant, Cygnus Federation variant, and Galaxy Terran variant. These all look amazing, and it's obvious the designers put in good effort this time. The trait, Controlled Aggression, gives you control expertise whenever you use temporal abilities or universal consoles. The amount you get scales on EPG, stacks last for 5 minutes, and you can go up to 30 stacks. It's not difficult to essentially max out on a usable amount of control expertise, but control expertise, regardless of how much it gives you, just isn't a strong enough effect to make a starship trait worth using. The console to stabilize dimensional rip is good fun. You get phaser radiation and APG boosts as passives. The clicky summons a rift that drifts towards enemies and banishes them to the shadow realm. <laughs> Wrong franchise. I, I mean the mirror dimension. <laughs> okay, I mean the Terran universe. Affected enemies take some radiation damage. This isn't a good effect because it makes enemies untargetable, but it is a lot of fun to use. 5 out of 5 on the entertainment factor for sure. And now for the ratings, I'll give this Cygnus a 3 for the meta, Recursive Shearing is a powerful ability, and Temporal is good for unconventional systems, but the ship just isn't nimble enough to make it enjoyable to use that way. Any other build you put on it isn't going to be that great, and as it is, those single target builds aren't the best anyway. For the ship score, I'll give it 3 stars. Whatever theme the ship is supposed to have isn't really coming through to me. The Dimensional Rip console is fun to use, but Crossing Dimensions isn't really a temporally oriented thing as far as I can tell. It wants to be a nimble forward-facing ship, but still feels bogged down by the turn rate and hull modifier of a Galaxy class. However, I love the idea behind the console, and the skins look great. As for the accessories, I'll give it a mercy of two. Don't get me wrong, the console is delightful, but it makes enemies untargetable and isn't useful. The trait is completely worthless. Overall, I'd suggest giving this one a pass unless you're planning on getting the whole bundle, or you just have to have a Galaxy with a 5-3 layout. It has a premium feel and some nice skins, but it fails to impress. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe so you can see more of my stuff in the future. As always, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.